Alright, so we saw that weird fucking creature come up from under the ground that looked kind of sus. I don't really want to go in there. That's just decay water. Surely we can get rid of that somehow. <clears throat> We're doing good so far. Making good progress, though. Also heard that woman talking. Ah. Oh, Jill Lakutis. I'm surprised to see who's well alive. Isol. Oh, where are Cecile. my manners? I'm Cecile, and I serve the Archbishop. I'm the only one left. Everyone's dead. From the petrification disease, or from the monsters. I didn't die, but my heart breaks more each day. Can you do me a kindness? Bring me the holy mark from the Archbishop's quarters. The Archbishop was a true saint. He was my savior. If I write his words into oh, my heart, maybe it'll give me the strength to carry on. I can't die. But perhaps this can help me live again. Please, bring me the holy mark. As quickly as you can. Okay. I can't die. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah, we won't talk about where almost half of those came from. Bit of a shovel incident, but it's fine. Looks like we're going this way then. There's just a rope here. Oh, mother! Jesus, fuck. Ah, uh, these little things, you can step on them, huh? That one, that one count too. That, oh, it was that. That pressure plate right there. What in the... Oh, there's stuff on the ceiling. Oh wait, I can't press this yet. Okay, I see you up there. That's on the other side. Just careful of these things. Oh, what the? I didn't even see that there. There's, there's traps, there's pressure plates, there's all sorts of shit. I didn't even see the hole there, oh my god. Okay, careful with the pressure plates on the ground. I see more over there in caliber. <clears throat> oh, this is butterfly. Wait, what? It's gone already. Did I get scanned? Oh. Band screen. Ergo fragment. Hey, scary. We are scary indeed. <clears throat> Alright, let's head up. This place is cursed. It is the abyss of hell. You cannot leave. The only thing waiting for you is despair. Ace despair. That's a true ace despair moment. You call it the arm of God, you arrogant ones. You have called the wrath of God upon yourselves. Radiant Ergo Fragment. Alright, well, we're back here now. After having a little fall. Over, see there. Are we good? Is this gonna fall? No. So that chick up there. Good. 
I love the style of this game. Like just the atmosphere, the you know, it's it's just sick. I love it. Oh, backstab. So far though, I mean, obviously I'm not, I'm, probably, I'm not even halfway through the game at this point. Because I'm just based on like the upgrade tree, I, I think, but oh fuck. Um, <clears throat> I feel like the enemies are kind of easy sometimes. Not all of them, but some of them have like, you know, I don't know, I'm, I'm comparing it to like, I've only ever played Dark Souls 1, I haven't played 2, 3, Elden Ring, whatever, but... Enemies aren't too, like, difficult. The bosses are, you know, bosses, but... This is why the cathedral was built, remember it. Pilgrims worship the mercifully. But then again, once you get used to, like, Dark Souls mechanics, the, the enemies aren't hard in that game either. They can be kind of annoying, like, at first. They have, like, annoying mechanics. Oh, another Crescent Moonstone. Yeah, the difficulty curve can also hit later too, there's that, so... Also, to be fair, I don't know how it would be with a, um, a different build either, like if I was to do... What did it say again? I don't remember Pilgrim's Word. Like if I was to do the... Non-heavy weapon build. Definitely be dealing a little less damage, probably and faster attacks. I don't know how though that works. Maybe I'm just a gamer. That's all. That because even even Dark Souls one, I started breezing through that once I like got used to the game's mechanics, but it did take a while, I guess. So we can't go that way. I need to use my decay thing here. Um, so we'll use one of these. And... The best. Down here, Miss. I think so. What's one? Of, oh, it's this guy that I fucking one tapped before. Oh, whoa! Fucking chill, bro. supposed to deflect all that shit. Ow. Okay, I'm getting fucked right now. There we go. And there he goes. Acid canister, hidden moonstone, star fragment. Okay. So... I haven't used this, I haven't tried using this cube yet. Thing I have on it uh, re temporarily restores HP. What's temporary? How long is temporarily? I wonder. It 
so try it out. Oh. So this is like Jesus fucking Christ. I wonder how long this lasts for. Maybe like a minute or something. Seems like all the other effects last for a minute. What do you think is the problem? I think you should just practice more and just keep playing a lot. You just have to... Uh, I don't... It's... I can't like, uh... Help with specific advice without seeing the gameplay itself, you know, and how, like, you're falling behind. Like, you might just not be picking up ways where you should be picking up ways. Like, the macro might be bad on the map, going where you should be. I don't know. But, uh... Wave management is important for all that sort of stuff, you know? Learning uh, all that. Oh, the Archbishop's Diary. Hey, it was a war with Gold right now, so. okay, Thankfully, those things didn't decay me. Archbishop's Holy Mark. Rip this off. Strengthening frame. Fuck this desk. Alright. <clears throat> so, let's see. Oh, that's a lot of weight, but a lot more physical damage reduction, too. We'll take it. I have the thing on that. Yeah, the carrier's amulet, so. Good there. <clears throat> um. Thanks for the follow. Archbishop's Holy Mark. A Holy Mark obtained from the Archbishop's room. It is the Archbishop's item that Cecil wanted to see in her last moment. Oh, man. Archbishop was such a man of character that they called him the Saint of Crot. Say his moral influence even made murderers repent before God. <clears throat> we also found its diary here. <clears throat> Cecil's unwell again. Today the Adams brothers found her standing like one of the dead at the edge of a cliff and brought her back. If it's mild sleepwalking, it's fine, but I'm worried it's her old blood compulsiveness again. I know about her strong beliefs better than anyone else, so it's really too bad. God will be glad with the atonement. Perhaps I should ask her for atonement for visiting the Isle of Alchemists. I have the relic in my hand thanks to Cecil. I won't let those bastards ruin Crot anymore. This will purify the city. Maybe it was a mistake to accept those guys from the beginning. This disaster was divine judgment. They should have been turned away all those 30 years ago. But this will be the end. Uh, Crot is a city blessed by God, and I, Andreas, will come to its rescue. The general is badly torn. Why me? Interesting. That item over there I can drop down and get. And you can see that there. Nice emergency protection. Alright. Uh, yeah, there's that. That's an elevator. Back over here. I to go back to Cecil's Stargazer. I could just teleport there. But let's see what's up here. This special resistance anvil. I, oh, I can toss this down. Yes. Push. <clears throat> Alright, got rid of that. Perfect. Allows us to get there. Finally heading home. Nice. Table catalyst. Oh yeah, wait. Can I open it from this side? Hey. What a 
we're falling down. Oh, wait, I have the ladder here somewhere. I can't open it. Maybe I have to open it from the inside. Oh, that's a boss room right there. Yeah, there's the summon thing. Oh, boy. Seeing praise for the new saint has arrived. I, Saint Andreas, will consecrate this land. Yeah, we said consecrate. That's what he said. Oh, there's a thing here. Before we go to the boss room, we'll go to that other door that we saw, I guess. Let's see what's in there, but let's go talk to Cecil. Where's the seal? How do you say it? Cecil, Seesaw. Oh, thank you. Just seeing the Archbishop's holy mark renews my spirit. It's a reminder of the quiet power of faith. I'll remember this forever, Stalker. Thanks for the resistance, Amp. It's a reminder of the quiet. Okay. Let's go, um, back to Hotel Crot. I think I can upgrade the thing again. Oh, maybe not. It would require four. I think I only have like. One or two moonlight fragments. <sighs> oh right, the lesion plug that we can craft stuff now. Let me see if I have enough. I know my way around the for a weapon upgrade. Nope, oh, I only got one out of four. Crafted this. So, what do we want to try out here? Is the question. There's this ranged attack thing, looks kind of cool. There's also the shield that we can. It's an arm that can block enemy attacks with your left arm. When it receives a blow, the embedded device explodes and deals damage to the enemy. Which is kind of cool. I kind of want to try that out. I also kind of want to try this out. Hmm. What do we think? There's also acid attack and a landmine thing. What do we think, Falcon Eyes or Aegis? Oh, they have different weights too. Oh, they have, they have different uh, ability scalings. I didn't even see that. What the fuck? Oh my god, wait, this has a motivity? Wait. Okay, never mind. It's definitely either this or this. This has A for motivity. And I have so much of that. Wait, I should just go this then, the landmine thing. It'll deal so much damage. All right, we're doing this. <clears throat> All right, we're, we're doing that. What are the scalings that these have? E, C, okay, this is definitely the best one for my turn. Oh my God, this thing is huge. Alright, can I... Ooh, I have Legion Calibers to use, yeah. So, it increases the enemy detection time after installation. Cool. Two for this. Increase the maximum number of installations, so I can make two. I can make three. God. Sick. 
detection range increases the detection range and explosion range increases explosion damage. This thing must do a lot of damage because I'm full like motivity build, right? So. <clears throat> Or just eeny meeny miny mode it. Hold my finger down on a tape recorder. Idea for next viewing party. Jank ass films. I check the recorder and place my finger on it again. Also need tape for tape recorder. <laughs> Jack ass films. Classic. I gotta try this thing out. Oh, it already starts with two, I see. Dude, my character is like decked out. Shit. How much damage is this? Oh, hold on. This has a charge time as well. Wait, do I get. I need to check. Do I get damaged in it? If I stand next to it? No. Kinda cool though. Kinda cool. like 5k damage right there. <laughs> yeah. All right, um, cryptid vessel Steven Nini at the hotel to decipher it. We also got to talk to him, right? And then the this guy, Nini, even priceless thing. This guy, we have a parts box for him, right? Sells more. Maybe we have to give it to Vanini first. But this is. At the house of Vanini. Yeah. We have to sell it to him. Nah. Hmm. Isn't this uh, a cryptic vessel? Well. I would expect nothing less from you. What I mean, of course, is that this is a humble invention of mine. A cipher device. Once your information is locked in here, only you can get it out. <laughs> of course, once people realize the value of a truly unbreakable way to keep secrets, knockoffs flood the market. The trials and travails of true genius, forever copied, never credited. But I admit, Exclamation even some of go. these knockoffs could still hold secrets. You're welcome to take a crack at, uh, well, cracking it. Who knows? It could lead you to something truly valuable, or at least more practical. All right, uh, decipher. And over. May I be of assistance? I can decipher this in moments if you'd allow me. I admit I'm a bit rusty, but it's all starting to come back to me. Genius never sleeps and never truly abandons the truly brilliant. What? No, of course I didn't read the contents. Who have time to read anymore? But uh, I could help you read it if you want to. <laughs> okay. Um, order, strike the puppet hanging from the Alchemist Bridge on Elysian Boulevard. Oh. Oh, does it, like, give me something? Ooh. Um, appendix, a message to Adelina. Dear Adelina, I've prepared a shelter for you. It's an apartment on Elysian Boulevard. You can stay there until everything settles down. I've arranged for someone to take you there. Once you get to the Alchemist Bridge on Elysian Boulevard, you're safe. The address and the key are hidden in the puppet hung from the Alchemist Bridge. Ask your escort man to strike the puppet. The shelter was supposed to be our first home, but I guess next time. To make up for what happened, I'm escorting the Alchemist for a bit. We're going to St. Frangelico Cathedral and all the way to the Grand Exhibition. Maybe the mission is to bring petrification disease curse, uh, cures to the refugee. I'll be back as soon as it's done. Alright, so Elysian Boulevard, the uh, place where we fought, uh, you know. The mad donkey. Back over there. Strike it down. Do I have range stuff? I mean, I have some throwables, so yeah, we should should be fine, I think. Hopefully. Um, let me do a 
level up. Got supply box in this man. Yeah, so do I just talk to him or at the house of Anini, even priceless thing. thing. Do I give it to him? I always welcome friends. At the house of Anini. to talk to someone else in order to this spirit parts thing. I know my way around the Welcome to Hotel. Oh, add shop goods. Oh, Paulandina, not all right, similar name, similar name. All right, I, this okay, it's this guy. Supply box, officially approved by the Let's city of Krat. I shall open it and add it to the hotel shop. Many thanks, good sir. No oh, problem. Good or go fragment. Hello, XM. Welcome How to Hotel Krat. How may I be of service? See what new stuff you have for sale. Magazine, okay. Oh, he sells hidden moonstones and dark moon Ooh. and a bright red apple. Fresh red apple. It looks like it's bursting with sweet, refreshing juice. A sweet apple. It is particularly precious in crowd these days. You have to purchase it for something. Oh, good as always. Good to hear. Here. I'm guessing he only has a certain amount of these. You having fun? Of course. Pretty good game so far. Enjoying it so far. Uh, pretty interesting. I'm not gonna buy this apple until I know I need to. I guess I... Um... I can only purchase up to two. I feel like I'll need this apple for something. I can only buy one anyway, so I'll buy it. I got a, I got an apple. I'll, I'm sure I can give that to someone or something. Uh, I have an apple. Three of these. I need one more for the final upgrade. Wait, no, these are for the special weapons. This is not the crescent moonstone. Never mind something different. <clears throat> okay. Doesn't look like that's enough for a level up. Imagine that apple never gets used. Nah. nah it has to be used for something. Come on. There's no way. There's no way. Alright, so it was... Elysian Boulevard entry. We can teleport here because this is the elevator goes down to where we need to go. Give me one second here.
my experience red apples mean bad things in fairy tale I mean not wrong <laughs> Stay hydrated. Drink some water. Mm. And down we go, the elevator. Thank you for the hydrate. Just drink some water. Right here. What if I can just throw like a like what like one of the cogwheel things at it? A saw. Just throw like a sawtooth wheel. That did work. Perfect. Letter with the refuge address. Lysian Boulevard 221B, Love Adelina. Key is enclosed. Lysian Boulevard 221B. Oh, there was a. What's the wrong? There was a uh, picture. Alright. Guys, where is this at? Do we remember? Oh, I see the thing back there. Okay, it's in that construction type area. The. Hmm. Is that always that high up before? I'm trying to remember exactly where this is. Yeah, I mean, it's Elysian Boulevard, so I'm gonna probably just. Is this to Elysian Boulevard? Or is this Elysian Boulevard back here? Look at the other note. Alchemist Bridge. Oh Lord. I'm going to assume it's in front of us. We'll just go forward. Because they would come here, hit this, go down, and then go forward, right? So that makes the most sense to me. Find. Museum Boulevard 221B. Um, not. No, this just leads to the boss. So maybe it is back. For it's actually. Because it had like that construction crane thing. Not crane, but. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah. that dude's weapon, Jesus. Uh, yeah, not this way. Okay. I think the dog's coming. Uh oh. Where for the dog? It's fast. I just one hit it though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's back this way. That area just leads to the boss. There's nothing back that way, so it's definitely over here. Easy in Boulevard 221B. That leads back there. Could it be down here? There's that up there, right? With the oh, it's up there. Oh, yeah, it's right there. That's where it is. 
Okay, so I just gotta take the ladder up then, yeah. see what this is. Maybe a stash, a cash, some goodies. Yep, for this time. <laughs> Alright, 221B right here. It's the letter of the refugee's address. It's kind of cool. I didn't think I'd be here. Owl Doctor's hunting apparel and quartz. Nice, another quartz. Perfect. Get another upgrade with that. I mean, this doesn't look too bad. It's kind of cool. I still like this outfit the most, but... He's strong boy ripping the safe door off. Well, he's kind of using his robotic arm to do that, but... Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know. Alright, we'll put on this one for a bit. To be fair though, when he was opening the big ass doors, like, um... Uh, yeah, we gotta go use our quartz. He was opening the big doors, and it was doing the effect like he was using his robot arm on one side, right? Like his left arm was like opening the big door and you could hear like the effects going off the robot arm being used and then he was also still pulling the right side door open with his regular arm that wasn't op so maybe he is just a strong boy <laughs> overall <clears throat> can't escape your fate you'll become the new mad donkey i refuse can't make me. <clears throat> I was the mad donkey in the demo. Now I'm dripped out of this in this one. Alright, so we have two cords to use here, so we can get another um, upgrade, more pulse cells, dodging one on the ground. Obtains a certain amount of guard game when receiving damage. And equipable amulet slots. This would be pretty good. So with this, I don't know if I want another pulse cell or not. I kind of do. It's kind of useful. I kind of want to get want to get guard regain though. So let's see. Enhance weapon attack when durability is at maximum. Um, weapon attack when discharge. That's when I'm out of pulse cells. My healing stuff. Uh, Intensity stagger attack of dodge attacks and dash attacks. Increases destruction damage of enemies when a perfect guard is successful. Or destruction damage to enemies. Yeah, I think we're gonna get that. Now uh, we can get another thing here. Enhances the recovery effect of pulse cells. Lowers the guard regain reduction. Damage received during charge attack when using fable arts. Enhances resistance to attribute ailments. Um I think I know which one I'm going to go for here. Yeah, I think we're going to go for... Lowers the guard regain reduction. My guard regain now is nuts. I got this upgrade and I got the lower guard regain reduction. Yeah, that's pretty bulk. That is pretty bulk. Next, I think I'll probably just get another pulse cell. Or I could go for another amulet slot. Not sure which one yet. I don't feel like I need another pulse cell, so maybe I'll just get the amulet slot. We'll see. This would also be super useful too. I could get like either one of these, but um, 
then I wouldn't be able to get to phase three quicker, which I kind of want to do, right? So. <clears throat> All right, sick. We got some. We got a boss to fight. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's also that one area I didn't um, get to check out yet. This leads straight to the boss. I don't like how this path leads directly to the boss room. That makes me feel like they're not putting any enemies in the way or anything to like run through. It might be a hard boss. <laughs> we'll see. Um, we can use the ladder here. There was one area, I, one door I didn't go through. I'm gonna check that out first before fighting the boss. Over here, I believe. But if not IRL, you could replace your arm with robot parts if you do it. I'm not gonna lie, maybe. Maybe. These guys don't really even aggro you from far. Big guy back. No, there's an elevator there. I mean, a robo arm would be kind of cool. Would be kind of, kind of wicked, huh? The guy's just chilling, hanging there. He wasn't there last time, was he? Remember? All right, I don't know where this leads, but let's check it out, I guess. Harder, better, faster, stronger. Yeah, you could game all the time. Your arms wrists, whatever, would never get tired or sore. I feel like this is the way you're, you're supposed to get after the boss. I can't find a way out. Monsters everywhere. I need to grab my share and leave. Hello. Maybe this is the optional way. Anything out here? It's quite the fucking view. Holy shit. That's pretty cool. Look, we've been, we've been going through all this. Was oh, that the courtyard where we fought the? Yeah, yeah, that's the courtyard where we fought the, the last demo boss. At. I don't think I've gone through all that over there though. No, we just went through this there and then through the woods up to this cathedral. No carpal tunnel. Yeah, exactly. Anything over here? <clears throat> no. <clears throat> I'm guessing we're gonna head in there, eventually. Look, they got a, got a carnival wheel up there. All right, am I gonna have to fight this guy up here? Look, he's got a dog mask. I can become the dog. Dude, this guy's got like three weapons, what? Decked out. This is pretty cool though. All right, I think we're gonna have to fight this guy. I don't know, let's see. <laughs> Oh, that's odd. I thought I was the only one with a sound mind here. I'm sure I don't need to introduce myself? <clears throat> Note these golden wings? Yes, you guessed it. You don't know who I am. Preposterous! Everyone in Kratz has heard of me. Do you live under a rock? I'm Alidoro the Hound. Treasure hunter extraordinaire. Oh, treasure hunter. Yes, yeah, it's a nickname. I ditched my real name in the past. <laughs> I'm looking for other survivors of this disaster, but it's uh, been a lonely search, and there's danger around every corner. Do you know of a place where I can take refuge? Preferably someplace clean and comfortable, you know, civilized. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know if I want to send him to Hotel Crot. He works. Vanini works. 
He works. I didn't give that place much thought. That's where the puppets are being made, after all. But I heard tell of a shelter there as well. With no first-hand knowledge, I suppose I have to trust you. Uh -oh. I have a lot of searching ahead of me, so why don't I lighten my load? Consider this an act of charity. Maybe I shouldn't have sent them to Hotel Karan, but they don't Take want it. me to send people there. I have to be careful, right? Firebreaks. Your springs are reacting. Oh god, I lied. I lied. I sent them straight into Vanini. Or <laughs> this is the treasure hunter guy, Since though. Since you're so helpful, I'll give you a peek at my collection. Show me what you're worthy of. About the As a descendant of aristocrats, <clears throat> the very best families, I have a duty to the common people. I live my life fulfilling that duty. And part of that duty is ensuring these items are returned to their rightful owners. What I'm showing you is just a portion of the collection. If you come to the refuge, we'll be able to continue our confabulation. Until then, remember this hound when golden wings shine. Yeah, see, that's that's was my concern is keeping the hotel safe. I think they said something about not wanting people to go there, but rare ergo, kill strong enemies to gain rare ergo. Elidoro is a treasure hunter who collects this rare ergo. Yes, good thing I saved the bossels. You can exchange it for Elidoro's precious weapons or amulets. Ha ha ha. See, I was smart. I saved the uh, the bossels. Parade leaders ergo, broken heroes ergo, and king's flame. There we go. All right. So what do we got? These are the are these the special swords? A type great sword. Seven coil spring sword. Seven explosions. A strong downward blow. When you cut downward, multiple explosions will deal damage to the enemies in front of you. Behind the enemy's attacks, correctly to deflect it and trigger a powerful attack. That's just another guard parry. <clears throat> Fresh the 7-Cold Spring Sword that was stored in the workshop tower. Even Geppetto could not replicate this fine masterpiece. Seven numbers on seven blades, the text that remained engraved on the eastern relic inspired the workshop technicians to make a masterpiece for this generation. Well, that has B motivity, but we could upgrade it, of course, to make it A. Etiquettes. Dagger. Single stab. Gather your strength for a big forward piercing attack. Absolute counter attack. Self defense weapon adored by the leader of the bastards. It can be disguised as an umbrella, but it bears its teeth in the moment of an attack. Social dignity can be seen not only in the ballroom, but also on the battlefield. The leader of the bastards did not lose his poise on either stage. Alright, that's not good for us. It has demotivity, but a technique, so. Alright, and Holy Sword of the Ark. Oh, wait, we can't disassemble these. Okay, so they come as is, but that's fine. Um, Because we can upgrade the handle. I hope get the motivity up to A on either one of these. Why does this deal so much more damage? The Great Sword. They're both Great Swords. Asian Smash, gather your strength with a strong hit. It's like what we have now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alter transforms the length of the handle. After transforming, stamina consumption is reduced temporarily. What? Special greatsword that was lying asleep in the St. Frangelico Cathedral. It can transform between a special greatsword and a glaive. The Arc Saints Saintess's weapon was reproduced for puppet use and it made a grand appearance at Kron events. However, its legendary holiness could not be reproduced. Hmm. <clears throat> this one has higher damage reduction rate while guarding too. Okay, wait, let's look at the am what do the amulets do? Enables dodging even with low stamina. Well, that's nice. Increases weapon attack in proportion to number of fable slots. Ooh. That's kind of nice. I I think I'm gonna have to get that extra amulet slot in the. When I use my quartz upgrades. Conquering Amulet. Upon a successful perfect guard, temporarily increases damage inflicted by a weapon attack. Also pretty good. <clears throat> I, I 
not gonna get this, so I will definitely get this one. Um, as for the other two fossils, I'm thinking about probably getting Holy Sword of the Ark. As slightly less Fable Charge and Charge all cells, but it's not that big of a deal. As higher attack, and it has higher damage reduction rate while guarding too, and it also has a cool transform thing that I want to try out. It's a charge, charge weapon thing. Although seven explosion sounds kind of sick on the seven coil thing, but I think I'd rather have this. Well, I mean this amulet's good, but I only have one boss soul, so probably get this amulet. I'll hang on to it for now, but I'll get this one because um, I'll probably be able to talk to this guy later, and then maybe I'll want to get this sword then. I don't have enough amulet slots to also equip this one and this one, so that works. <clears throat> well, that's nice. I thought I was going to have to like fight that guy or something, so glad I didn't have to. Let's go back to the hotel and uh, see if we can upgrade this. What is it? One, two, four. That's seven that I need. Of the moonlight things. <clears throat> the moonstones, excuse me. Um, and I only have one crescent moonstone, so I need to get six more of these. But I can buy them from him now, so that's nice. Welcome to Hotel Pro. Hmm. Although they're 300 each, so I can't afford that many. <laughs> it's okay, I can use um, some souls. I just need, what, 600? Just use one of these. Welcome to Hotel Also, I'm going to need some uh, currency for the upgrade itself. I don't know how much, but do that. I know my way around. Ah, um, I'll write the handle on this. Can we alter that? I need to. I want these activity crank. Can't alter it though. Or I could use the balance one on the thing I'm using now, though I'm not sure if I'll actually use it. At the house of a new the weapon I'm gonna make, I might still use what I have now. Um I'll buy this. Looks like we're gonna have to use these all of these probably. I know my way around a weapon. All right, let's alter the handle, add the motivity crank. We'll get plenty more damage. Okay. Oh, right, it uses the dark moon moonstone. Ah, uh, I had to upgrade them. Yeah, I forgot about that. It was up by 30, damn. to get that to three. So it doesn't have as much damage as my current weapon, but this is a 227 plus 139. This is a 201 plus 125. It's it's only 40 less. It's not that bad. It has less stats, so I don't know if I'll use it, but I do want to try it out. <clears throat> but also my, my pipe wrench head is plus five, so you know, it, that thing's kind of insanely upgraded. But I will still try this out regardless. Oh my god, look how big this thing is. Holy, I didn't think it'd be this big. I thought it was like a... I mean, it is a great sword, but... God fucking damn. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> Alright, charge attack. 
All right, about the running attack. Running heavy. Yeah, that's a slam down. Okay. Oh, this thing has quite a stagger. All right, so this says it transforms it into a wave. Oh, what the fuck? This thing's kind of crazy. What the hell? So it's a stab. Oh. What about... Okay. Wow. The transform's kind of cool. How long does this last for? Probably like a minute, right? Or maybe until I use it again to transform it back. Oh, it's not a charge. God, Jesus. Alright, so it's one of those. I see. Alright, so... I have to turn it back. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so this version of it is the actual charge, like this. And then the glaive is the, uh, the Alright. That's pretty cool. All right, yeah, we'll mess around with this for a bit. See how, see how it goes. I, I kind of dig it. Looks sick. Pog new uh, special weapon. All right, anything else I need to do um, before I continue on? I don't think so. All right, well, time to go fight a boss with our new weapon. Let's see how this goes. Surely we'll just first try it. I'm not gonna use um I'm not gonna use the the summon thing since that's it feels kind of cheese and makes the boss fights kind of easy. However, if I start getting my ass beat, I will summon something to help me. I gotta get a bro to help me out. But we'll try it. We'll try fighting the boss without it. Actually, hold on. I gotta change the outfit to match the sword. There we go. Oh yeah. 